about angels or a thin opening or a thin and the seraphim and their star seed following a linear story and telling of this tale is difficult with so many pieces to the puzzle coming into view at different points. So allow me to try to simplify the issue of the original split of the races. Earth, about 100,000 years ago, was essentially inhabited by many races from many parts of the galaxy. Some of those on Earth were from other galaxies, mainly the Pleiadians, Andromedans, Syrians, and Orions, or Orinians, who were a composite group of mainly reptilian beings. They, all of them, interbred with the natural, or earth people and had hybrid children. Understand they were close to 72, interesting, original star races here. So this could be a book in itself. Some of the physical species inhabiting the earth were in fact hybrid from the stars and some natural or indigenous peoples. Remember the two atoms? The main indigenous species making up mankind, that is man-kind, who seemed to populate Earth were Neanderthal or primitives, and then the other Cro-Magnon, or progressives, two atoms. Homo sapiens came later. They are not natural to this planet and were created from the hybridization of the Orion seed from the royal lineages of the Orion queens, being the Orophim, Ophanim, and the Seraphim. The Orion Queens interbred with Cro-Magnon. This is an interesting swing to this. The Orion Queens interbred with the Cro-Magnon and from the womb of the Orion Queens were born sons of God. Mind blowing. Boom. And from the womb of man, woman, Later were born sons of man. In both lineages did this occur, being Ophanim, or Ophim, and that of the Seraphim. And thus the knowledge was genetically encoded within the human genetics forever. Thus began what seems to be the endless battle of light and dark, the war within, which was our imposed destiny until one side, one over the other, or a balance was reached, or until the artificial time grid would no longer function and the natural changes based upon celestial cycles would reach the point it has today. For the great plan and the suffering of the children of the gods was not to be an eternal condition. When the, air quoting here, end of time, end of air quote, came, in that experience would come the separating of the wheat from the tares and the sons of man would join once again with the sons of God. Oh, 
We are fast coming to the universal understanding that the Bible, at best, is little more than a watered-down collection of a grossly mistranslated accountings of the Sumerian tablets. And by the way, did you know that the word Sumeri, Sumer, S-U-M-E-R, translates to drac, D-R-A-C, dash, as in dragon, as in draconian in the ancient Celtic language. I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. The original Orion dialect was what we call ancient Aryan meaning of Orion. The word origin means linked to Orion, specifically to the crossing over of the bloodlines of the NIB, Nibilung, as in human bird, as in bird tribes. DNA with the Uru, U-R-U, which was the Draco or dragon reptilian winged beings. Those who possess the blood, i.e. genetics, of the dragon kings were the Messiah or Messiahs. Messiah translates quite literally to one fed by reptilian blood. One born of the royal lineage of the court of the dragon. Orifim, Anunnaki, bird tribes, Adali, the golden ones, Yeshua, from star seed born of the Orion queens. Orifim, Ophanim. All right. Seraphim. Sarah, Phi, Seraphic, reptilian bloodline of the Orion Queens, as in Magdalene, priestess of Isis. Yeshua plus Magdalene equal royal bloodline. Here we are, the blue bloods. Oh, I've never seen it drawn out like that. Wow. Okay, I'm going to keep reading and finish up here. Matthew chapter 13, interesting number, here we go, 36. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house. And his disciples came unto him saying, declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. Three, he answered and said unto them, he that soweth the good seed is the son of man. 38. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. 39. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. 40. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. Coming up next, Earth Chronicles. That was a powerful one. Oh, 